can you show me what you use on that on your fastball? I've seen you use a four seamer that you you push on the top of the zone, but I really want to concentrate on that backdoor two seamer that you throw to righties yeah. because it's it's a fun pitch. It's something that I could never throw, so I want to see how because of your arm angle yeah. how you're able to get that whip at the back end. Yeah, it's a pitch that I chased for a while because I, um, you know, you watch other guys do it on TV. You know, you see the glove side Maddox pitch, and I always felt like if people are keyed in on my breaking ball a lot of the time, then that's kind of the antithesis of that. You know, it's faster and moving the opposite direction. So, like, I'm on the seams like anybody would be, but I move my middle finger off. It's really pointer and thumb for me. And I guess well, the awakening moment for me was sort of realizing that um, I, my pitch doesn't actually have to be a ball on the way to the plate and then come back to the strike zone. It just looks like it, it just has to look like it's gonna be a ball and then hold and that stay on the plate. That kind of trajectory, like it's gonna keep running that way? Yeah, because like I'm stepping across my body a little bit, so the ball's releasing. Um, Here, let me switch you side so you can show this off. Yeah, like your wingspan. So, so you're coming. Right, like I'm coming over here and, I'm, and I want to throw all the way over here and have it come back, right? But at first I thought it was impossible for me because on TV it does look like the ball is completely off the plate before coming back. So I just like didn't think I was capable of doing it. But then I kind of realized that, no, no, all that has to happen is the ball has to look like it's heading that way and then kind of check up on the corner. Another thing I noticed last year uh, is your slider. Can you show me your, your slider grip? Obviously everybody knows you have the, the big the slider that moves the, what do they call it, the whip slider the, now? They call it the whirly the sweeper. the sweeper. The whirly, I kind of like that one. Yeah, I mean, so uh, yeah, I'm just over here on the side of the ball. Like my finger just lays right here in the middle and I'm just, I just create like this tension with my thumb on the bottom and my middle finger over here. And I'm, all I'm trying to do is just get through the ball and that kind of sends the ball on that right to left trajectory. So you're able to feel that? You choke the ball, like what's, I people do. don't know, I choked the ball my whole career too, it's like yeah. I wanted to feel it as deep as yeah, I can. Yeah, you, you, I want that tension so I feel like I have the pressure on the exact like spot on the ball that I want it to be on and I don't want it like, I want it like really localized, you know? I don't want the pressure to be sort of, um, you know, more generalized over there. I really want it like on that one spot that I'm gonna push through the ball on so that I can put maximum force in it. Cause I'm all the way over on the side of the ball. And when you're all the way over on the side of the ball, I mean, you're barely holding on to the ball. So if you don't have a good amount of pressure headed into that spot, it, it can pop out early. You can be a lot, you can have a lot of inconsistency with it. So the grip is an important part, like that pressure laying in. And then I just try to get my hand, you know, out front so I can get through that pitch and, you know, not leave it real sloppy and lazy. Last year, I think Fangraphs had you with a splitter, but I think, is it a changeup or a split, first a of all? It's a changeup, but it had good it had good bite last yeah. year. So, yeah, so I was getting credited as a splitter <laughs> on uh, Fangraphs. Which That's is cool. good, you, yeah, you confused cool. it. Yeah. We didn't know about other alternate ways to throw these pitches before, and now we do. So I cut my changeup out of my hand, like just like my two seam, and then I rely on it to come back because of the seam shifted weight factor, which is basically yeah. the way the seams are oriented. So like, I don't pronate my changeup. This is my changeup grip. It's basically my two seam grip, but but moved over, Okay. right? And You're with this finger's a little more spread. So there? it's basically my two seam grip, except middle finger's on the inside seam, okay. as opposed to the pointer, right? Thumb's in the same spot. And all I try to do is just rip through it like I'm throwing a fastball and create like a kind of a flat spin. And that in and of itself, will push the ball downward. So I only felt comfortable throwing it where it looked like a strike and then it would disappear. Are you uh, yeah. incorporating more strikes with it? Yeah, so that was like one of the big things I worked on this offseason is like, can I throw this thing over the plate? Like last year, like you said, it had good movement. Baseball Savant was telling me that it was, you know, four inches more drop than average and this and that. But every time I would use it in the game, you know, I would use it that same way. Like, let's throw that perfect one right below the zone. And I would use it ahead in the count or in a neutral count. Wasn't really using it behind in the count. So, and my execution rate was like, you know, three out of 10, which is not really big league caliber, regardless of how nasty it is. So this off season, I was like, I'm gonna figure out how to throw this thing over the plate. I've been working on that, you know, since I started throwing again this year, and hopefully I'll have better execution <laughs> <laughs> well thank you adam for coming i wish you nothing but uh, success in this years to come and uh thanks for showing us a little bit of your your yeah. pitching repertoire my pleasure thanks jerry